Mike Bradley here, hope you are doing well as always. So I'm in my guitar room as always, and I wanted to show you a cool slippery, slippery arpeggiated, a uh, little bit of minor pentatonic scale stuff going on. A um, little bit quick, but you can play it slow or you can play it fast. Uh, let's just jump straight into it. So uh, you saw it at the beginning of the video, uh, a little bit slower. <laughs> Like that, all right? <laughs> and then it's a bit more quicker there. Um, also doing a bit of hybrid picking, but you don't have to. So um, let's just start off. So I'm starting, so we're in the key of B minor. So we've got here an arpeggio, an A uh, major arpeggio, really. So I'm going 10, 9. And then, so on, that's on the first string, and then 10 on the second string, and then 9 on the third string. And then when on that 9, I'm sliding back to the 7th fret on that third string. You got that. And then when you get to that 7th fret on the third string, when you go to the good old B on the fourth string. So hopefully there you can visualize or in shape one or B minor pentatonic. So even that on his own is, is cool. But there's more. So after playing that B, we're gonna go back to this D note on the seventh fret third string and slide back to C sharp. B flat, whatever way you look at it, let's look at it at C sharp. So we got now that happening. Slower. Now we've got a cool little arpeggio up in here. Uh, you can think it as an F sharp minor arpeggio. Uh, so we're going to be on this uh, sixth fret on the third string and then go to the seventh fret on the fourth and then ninth fret on the fifth string. Picking wise, I'm kind of doing, I suppose, a little sweep. So I'm doing a down on that third string and then up, up on the fourth. Same to start with here as well. Down, pull off. If you prefer alternate picking, go with it. Nothing's written in stone here. Then after doing this arpeggio, we're gonna do a seven to nine uh, on the full string. You got that happening. Again, you could just stop there if you wanted. You know, but we're gonna do more. So we're gonna slide seven to nine on that full string, and then basically go up our pentatonic. And then slide, so you've got seven, nine, seven on the fourth and fifth string, and then slide back to that fifth fret. Bit slower so you can see my fingers. And then we've got a seventh fret and the sixth string. That B. So it's kind of a quick kind of a pull off there on that seven to five. So when I slide back, so something to watch out for here, I'm sliding. So when I go up this pentatonic, I'm sliding back. So you got nine, seven, nine, slide back to the seven, pull off to five, and then you got the B on the six string. D note on the fifth fret and then finish on the E for this part. I like 
like it because it's slippery um, and it's, it's just things I fall into, you know, it's pentatonic but you're using notes on the outside a little bit. And then to kind of finish off, it's very pentatonic-y. So I'm going to, uh, with my ring finger, I'm going to slide seventh fret on the fifth string to ninth fret on the fifth string. And then go to the seventh fret on the fourth string and then back to the ninth fret on the fifth. And then back to the seventh fret on the fourth. And then as I said, you could do pick. Uh, but I prefer hyper picking car like that snap. And then after being on that ninth fret fifth string, hammer seven to nine on that fourth string, and then similar idea seven on the third string, and then back to the nine on the fourth, and then back to the third string on the seventh. You can see picking wise. But you could pick it, whatever you prefer. And after that, we're going to go to the ninth fret on the third string, slide to the eleventh fret, and then do another kind of little sweep. It's uh, another F sharp minor arpeggio, actually. So we're going to go eleven, ten, nine. So you got that. And then when you're on that first string, hammer onto the twelfth fret. Pull off to the nine, ten on the second string, nine on the third, and then go back to your tenth fret on the second string, and then we'll finish on that B. Now, if you want to be really cool at the end of that, you can slide up to the D, which is uh, the minor third to B minor, and do a little bend, and then cut it off. Um, so it'd be, or you can just finish on the B. Whatever you want. Again, nothing's written in stone. So I'm playing the B, and then I'm just sliding. I'm not picking the string again. So there you have it. So uh, get practicing. It's a it's a slippery one, but like I say, it can be done slow. You don't have to do. Don't be put off by far. So. Knowing you can still do it slow and do a melodic kind of sound with it there, you know. So don't be put off. Uh, I'd love to see some of your licks. So if you want to be cool, hip, and 21st century, uh, no, post it on Instagram or Twitter. Do the hashtag social riffing because the lovely guys at Yamaha were trying to get a nice, beautiful bunch of musicians and get us all come together and do some cool riffs and share it. So hashtag social riffing. And, um, and if you're using a Revstar, even better, because this thing sounds great. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I love reading them. And uh, get practicing. I look forward to seeing some people do some of this crazy arpeggiated, pentatonic-y lick. <laughs> anyway, Mike Bradley very much shining out. Hope you're all very good and well. See you soon. Bye!